There's something unique about American music. What is it? Rhythm and feel. And we'll be hearing it throughout the concert. Okay, rhythm and feel. What is it about a certain kind of rhythm or a certain kind of feel that makes music American, as opposed to European or Asian or African or any of the other places where we get great music? Well, America brought jazz to the world, blues to the world, and we'll be hearing it, for instance, the second movement of the Gershwin Piano Concerto. It's just a wonderful bluesy movement. And the first and the third, lots of rhythm, Charleston, again, dances that are not known in So Europe. if you're a lover of jazz or blues, and you don't necessarily know how you feel about great symphonic music, this is the concert for you. Absolutely, with wonderful orchestration, very colorful. Well, nobody, as I have done my reading, probably loved America more sincerely than Antonin Dvorak. And his piece is featured on the second half of this concert. Tell us about Dvorak and his relationship with America. Well, Dvorak arrived in America in 1892. He was the uh, director of the American Conservatory in uh, New York. And he fell in love with his country and uh, wrote a couple of pieces as an homage to America. And one of his um, most notable symphonies is the, from the New World Symphony, and, and actually became probably one of the most known ever. And that symphony from the New World is the one that's featured on the March 13th concert? Yes. Arie, what is it about, what is it specifically that we're gonna hear in the New World Symphony that makes it American? Well, there's this famous spiritual, I'm going home, which is featured in the second movement, the slow movement, played by the English horn. That's something that everybody is going to hum. Just to get us all in the mood, let's hear a little excerpt from that particular piece. was a little bit of a controversy, maybe there still is, about whether this symphony from the New World really was American all the way through or whether it kind of changed as it went from first movement to second movement to third movement. Help us understand what that's all about. Well, I'm sure many people in the audience are familiar with the Slavonic dances by Dvořák. Dvořák is a Czech person in his heart, and he cannot help it. That's where he was born and raised. Yes. And so in the third movement and the fourth movement, that's where his Czech spirit comes out. And, and it's just wonderful, wonderful music. What will we start to hear that people have identified as maybe a little more Czech than American, and in certain little places at least, in the New World Symphony? Well, uh, we're going to hear maybe an excerpt from the last movement, and, and it has this Slavic bravura that you can hear only in his Slavonic dances. And you know immediately this is Dvorak. Let's hear a piece of that. <laughs> So even though Dvorak said that, look, I was just trying to write in the spirit of these American melodies, he maybe like many composers, doesn't quite escape his roots. Absolutely. <laughs> 